Yum, yum. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a lightning bolt in Moto. Start by creating a single polyline using the pin tool in an empty mesh item. Hide the item and then create a new mesh item. Next, add a create polygons mesh op to the stack. Set the polygon type to line and closed attribute to none. Drag the two mesh items to the schematic view. Then create a curves to array modifier and connect the first mesh to the curves input and then connect the output to the create polygons position input. Increase the steps attribute for the curves to array to 30. This will generate a subdivide polyline that we can use as our bolt. Add a transform effector to the bolt item, then add a radial falloff item to the scene, and increase the solid core attribute to 100%. Drag both the radial falloff and transform effector to the schematic, then connect the falloff to the effector falloff input. In the shader tree, add a multifractal texture layer, and then drag it to the effects group. Move the transform effector locator to see the effect of the multifractal. Set keys for the position of the multifractal texture locator on frame zero, then move to frame one and increase the position's channels to create a new keyframe. Select the texture locator for the multifractal, open the graph editor, and set the post behavior for the channels to offset repeat. Scrub the timeline to see the results. Adjust the scale of the falloff to adjust which portions of the bolt are affected and then adjust the scale of the multifractal to your liking. For the bolt to render, enable render curves for the bolt item and change the radius gradient to your liking. Increase the luminosity intensity for the bolt's material and scrub the timeline to see the results. Lastly, select the final color output, enable bloom, and then generate a render. Adjust the bloom threshold to your liking and you're all set. Oh, look at the time.